Hey guys, it's Richard at Magnaflow again, and we are here with a part two update for the Overland Bison project, which is also our prototype vehicle and running our third version of the new no drone technology muffler. Uh, we are working on a bigger body as our first result was one that gave us possibly a little too much interior noise. Now there was no drone, the resonator does a great job of eliminating that. But we were looking for something that was gonna be a little bit more mellow for again that Overland consumer. So take a look here and you're gonna see it still has the high clearance tailpipe. The rear of the muffler is gonna look a little different than the other one and you're gonna see that's very similar. It's a five by 11 by 22, which is that larger casing like we use in the standard system. But we've had to move the inlet slightly here to accommodate the new design. Now, the internals are very different. Again, the externals look very similar and here you can see that offset. But what our team has been working on is creating a quieter overall muffler that still has the drone control resonance Hemmels chamber built in. So here's one of our prototypes and the one you saw on the last on the vehicle. And as you can see, it's a straight through design, so it's unobstructed. This is a two and a half inch internal uh, with the Hemmels chamber that is, uh, in this case, adjustable until we get the fine tuning done. And we've also tested the three inch, so we're working on airflow characteristics and optimizing for that V6 motor. Uh, but what we are looking at now, and as you can see in the difference in size, is a larger casing muffler to overall dampen more of the exhaust note in the interior. The difference in how we're approaching this one is we're going to put the chamber on the inside of the muffler. So, as you can see, this is a rough layout of how the internals would look like. You would have your inlet here uh, going into the T-pipe, uh, and then of course we'd have a branch that comes off, and then the Hemmels chamber would be off to the side. This is all basically going to be encased inside the muffler. So there are some advantages in that. We're gonna get a larger body, which means some more noise dampening, but we're also gonna find that it's gonna help with clearance. Obviously there isn't something sticking up and another object on the outside that you have to deal with, uh, but we still have some adjustability here. So I have the first version on the vehicle. We're getting ready to take it out for a test. The first part of this is going to use the straight through design. And then we do have some other things to control if we really wanna get in there and uh, put the noise in check. We have the ability to use one of our other forms that we have for internals. And as you can see by its design, this will allow a little bit of an impingement here, which will change the airflow characteristics and potentially give us some more noise control. Ultimately, the dyno will tell and the airflow characteristics will tell which design is going to perform the best, as well as which one's gonna take care of the sound requirements. As we get back under the car again, we're gonna go ahead and do our preliminary testing. This testing is uh, based upon both noise uh, with our RTA real-time analyzer uh, that'll give us some DBA ratings as well as knowing the frequencies that we are going to be working with and seeing if that uh, cancellation chamber is working correctly. But we're gonna test it out in the butt dyno and see how the response feels and ultimately back on the dyno to find out what it does. There it is, more coming soon.